Hello children, welcome on my channel. And today's our topic is even and odd numbers. Okay? So in class second and class third, we have to learn about the even and odd numbers. Okay? So before start the video, if you like my video, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. So you cannot miss my new videos. And if you are having any difficulties, that also you can write in comment box. So I will make that to solve. So let's start with our topic even and odd numbers. So okay, what do you mean by even numbers? Even number means the numbers, the objects which can be paired. Nothing is remain to back. That is the even numbers. And what do you mean by odd numbers? Whenever we have to pair, that may be numbers or object, so something is left over. That is the odd number. So, I will explain with the ta taking the example. Okay. So, first one we are taking even number. So, now I will take, I will make the pairs. Pairs means we have to combine the two, two object. You are knowing that pair means we have to combine two object. So, I will make the pair of two, two balls. Okay, one, two, three and four. Okay, here I make the pair. But any ball is remain? Any object is remain? No. Means that no object is remains. Means zero objects remain. When there is nothing is remain, that number will even number. Now come to the odd number. Okay, here also I shall make the pairs. 1, 2, 3. Okay. Here I make the pair. But one ball is remain. So whenever we are pairing. Whenever we are doing pairing. So something is left over. At that time. That number will be odd. Okay. By taking number I will explain. Okay. Now I am taking one number. I am taking the number 6. Okay. For number 6, we will draw the 6 lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 lines. Now we will make the pairs. 1, 2, 3. So anything is left over? No. Means number 6 is the even number. If we can do the pairing, any one number is not remain. So that number is even number. So I am taking the number 8. Okay. So I will draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 lines. Again I am at the pairing. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Anything is remain? Anything is left over? No. So means the number 8 also even number. Okay. Now I will take the number 9. Okay, for number 9, we will draw the 9 lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 lines. Again, I will make the pairing. 1, 2, 3, 4 pairs are there. But one standing line, one line is remain. Means something is left over. So, whenever something is left over, that number is odd number. Means the number 9 is Oh. Okay, I will take again one example. So, I will take in the number 5. So, we will draw the 5 lines. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Again, we will do the pairing. 1 and 2. So, listen students. Here, one line is remain. Means something is left over. Whenever something is left over, that number is odd. That number is odd number. Understood? Which are the even numbers and which are the odd numbers? So students, the numbers which comes under the table of 2. That will the even numbers. Okay? The numbers which are come under the table of 2 means 2, 4, 6, 8 and the 0. These are the even numbers. These are even numbers. And the numbers which will not come 
अंडर द टेबल ऑफ टू मीन्स वन थ्री फाइव सेवन नाइन दीज आर द ऑड नंबर नाउ दिस इज अबाउट द सिंगल डिजिट नंबर But whenever there are two digits, there are three digits. So how we identify it is even number or odd number? That I explain. Okay, I take the two-digit number first. So I am taking the number twenty-five. So how we identify this is even number or odd number? So what we have to do for that we have to only underline the right side place number means ones place number. We have to underline the five. Okay. So tell me, students, can the number five will come under the table of two? No, five will not come under the table of two. So this is the odd number. Okay. So the next number, I'm taking the thirty-six. Again, we have to underline the ones place number. Means we have to underline the number six. Now, think, students, number six will come under the table of two. Yes, the six will come under the table of two. So two three is a six. Means the thirty six is the even number. Okay, I'll take one more example. Fifty eight. Now again underline the ones place number. So there is number eight. Now tell me, students, eight will come under the table of two. Yes, the eight will come under the table of two. And the number which are comes under the table of two that are Even numbers. Understood? How to identify the odd and even numbers? So this is about the two-digit numbers. So now I am taking the three-digit numbers. Okay. Now I will explain with the three-digit number. Four hundred thirty-five. So here also we do same thing. Means again we have to underline only one place number. Means we have to underline the number five. So five will come under the table of two. No, so five will not come. So means it will be odd number. Again, I'll take one more example. Nine hundred ninety-eight. Okay. So again, underline the ones place number. Ones place number is eight. Eight will come under the table of two. So the number come under the table of two. That is even number. Like that, we have to do the four-digit number, five-digit number. What do what we have to do? We have to underline only one place number and see if that number will come under the table of two. That will even number, and if that number will not come under the table of two, that is odd numbers. Understood? How to identify even and odd numbers? Thank you, students.